Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Hi, Shelby. How are you feeling? Say, guys, I feel so much better. I'm going to show you her incision. Look at it. Look, that incision looks better than any of the other ones you had done. It's not red. It's not swollen. It looks really good. And you feel really good, huh? Feel really good? The only thing is you got this great big, look at how big this naked spot is. Great big naked spot. That's going to take months to grow back. Where she had the surgery on her neck right here, even that fur is still super thin right there. It's going to take months to grow your beautiful fur back. I know, I know. Oakley, do you want to tell them what you got? Say, look guys, I got a new bowl. Some of you guys may have noticed the other day that uh, Oakley was using Shelby's new travel bowl that we got her when we were up in Munising. Oakley's been having a little bit of a hard time eating out of the slow feed bowl. And by that I mean she's been eating 10 times slower than she normally does. So we thought we would get her a different bowl that's not a slow feed bowl. And I actually thought this was the same size as the one we had got for Shelby, but it's kind of tiny. But um, it's actually working pretty good for her. She seems to be liking it. She's, it make, it's making it a little bit easier for her to eat. Yeah, I know. What? Well, I don't know what to tell you. I know. It's snowing, I know, and the snow is cold on your back. It is snowing again, just barely. Not much, but we do have a little bit of snow falling out there. Maybe we'll get more snow! Hi Memphis, how are you today? <laughs> so we're getting ready to do... I don't know if it's our least favorite thing to do, but I think it might possibly be one of her least favorite things. She I just like <laughs> she just thing. figured out Oakley had, or Shelby had stitches. She's like, whoa, stitches! <laughs> so Jamie's kind of prepping her and getting her a little bit calmed. So she's kind of... Which seems silly, but it does work. When she realizes we're going to touch her, she's kind of a little bit less jumpy when we touch her. But we're going to try to trim Oakley's nails. This one's like that. Which is a two-person, it's probably like a 12-person job. <laughs> so these two girls are going to go outside. We're going to try to film some of it. I know, she's like, yeah, right there, scratch right there. Get that foot up, huh? Get oh, your foot up. almost, look at her. She's like, man. What about the rims? If you get right under, she might do her foot kick. She's like, I'm loving this. <sighs> Shelby's like, why are you scratching that dog? <laughs> Sorry. See, now notice when Jamie stopped, she didn't run away. So we kind of got to get and her I like... reach back forward and she yep. doesn't dart away. We've kind of got to... It's patent time. And it, kinda, it is patent time. And we use, we'll yeah. use some food and stuff. So she thinks this is a fun experience, mm -hmm. but... Let's see if we can trim this dog's nails. I know. <laughs> I'm like, no, can I just keep vlogging yeah, and talking a, about it? You're such a fighter. She is. Everybody, well, we didn't have her since a puppy either. Everybody <laughs> else's nails we can do, but hers are the hardest. So while she's still getting ready, I'll show you. So for those of you that might be wondering what we use to cut the dog's nails, these are the nail clippers we use. They have a guard on them. And the way that works, see if I can do this one-handed. Kind of. So see when you see through there, the guard only allows you to cut their nails a little bit. And the nice thing about that is, is you can just put it in there since hers haven't been done in a while. Hopefully we won't cut anything too close. And we do have quick stop just in case we do cut too close. But then we also have this, which is like a Dremel. Only it's like a, it's actually a dog nail grinder. It's a cordless one, but we don't usually use this on Oakley because she jumps too much. And I don't want to get it high. I don't want to get it tangled in her fur or anything like that, so... All right, let's see if we could do this. So she's got harness on, which helps us hold her without actually trying to squeeze her body. Yeah. Daddy's got peanut butters. Did, did you realize what that was? I don't have it. Daddy has it. Santa so smeared a bunch in a cup. So he's oh, going to try yeah. to hold her still, and I'm going to try to do her nails oh, as quick as I can. Yeah. We're going to try to film a little bit of it and see if we can show you guys this crazy good, process. Huh? Hmm? She's like, yeah, see, just like that. So Jamie's going to hold her like that because she thinks she can't get away, but we're not actually holding her. So we're going to see if this works. I have to do this correctly and not panic. <laughs> yep, calm. Good. You're all right. You're okay. You're all right. And not pass it this at all. Just pinch. Get it in there. Squeeze. Yeah, they're thick. Right, it's a little one. rough. We got one. We got two, we got two, we got two. You want, you want me to clip them since my hands are a little bit bigger? Maybe. She's... That's how the, the, the girls do it, that the groomers. Uh, 
That's four on that foot. The fifth one's a dew claw, right? Yeah. So. Good job. Good job. Just the nails, just the tips, hon. I'm not going Good to, job. I'm not going to do that. You want one. Done. Just the clicky clicks. I'm letting her go. Well, we got, she's clicking less, which is good. Yeah. But uh, we got one of her back nails just a little bit too close. You see she bled a little tiny bit on the carpet. Yeah, probably not a smart idea to do it on your carpet because they, they can bleed. You really only need to take off a quarter of an inch. Yeah. And the same length that you would take off on your own fingernails is about as much that you need to take off on the dog. On her back nail, the guard on the on the nail clippers was stuck open a little bit far from one of her other nails. So one of her back nails got clipped a little close. Yeah, I guess I could show you guys that. That a lot of the clippers have guards on here and that's to prevent the nail from going too far into it. Uh, a lot of times you can just visually see how much you're taking off so you don't actually have to use the guard. The problem with this guard is when I took the one nail off, the nail got stuck under the guard like this and I didn't notice it so when I took the next nail off it was almost twice as much that I took off because there was a nail stuck in that guard so always be aware of how much you're actually removing I almost suggest just using your eye at all times and See, never I, relying on a I guard. like the guard way better than your eyes I can't do it without a guard it See, scares I, me I look where I'm squeezing and you can feel where them blades are gonna cut through and where you have it where you want it just Ugh, oh. straight through and you don't need but but if the finger we did pretty good though she's definitely clicking a lot less we got the one a little bit close she didn't protest too much even at that and she ate a lot of peanut butter and we had this is what i was telling you it's called so this is what i was telling you about this is the quick stop blood stopper you basically just take it and you can uh, put a little bit on the lid or get some on your hand and dip their nail in it and it pretty much stops it from bleeding right away it is a little bit sensitive for them when you cut their quicks but thankfully we just barely nicked it they bleed a lot more than you would expect. <laughs> when you cut the quick of a dog's nail, they bleed like crazy, even when you just barely get it. So you're always gonna think that it's way worse than it is, but we really did just get the very little end of it. We got the quick stop on it, and we finished doing her nails, and I, I think we did it, Jamie. She already sounds way better. Yeah, I can see the last foot I took. I could probably, but we'll wait a week and yeah. maybe we'll do it again. Yep. Or two weeks and we'll do it again. Usually they say if your dog's nails are long, wait a week in between doing it. And then after you get them to the level you want, then you're supposed to do it every every three to four weeks is what yeah. they say. Yeah, About, about once job. a month. Good job, girl. You have peanut butter on your nose. <laughs> you All right, we better clean the blood off yeah. carpet. <laughs> Look it! Look at how heavy the snow is coming down. Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? It changed really quick. I literally was just out there. And now <laughs> we're getting all this heavy snow. Girls, hi Shelby butt. I'm not even sitting down to eat yet. You don't have to get your spot just yet. Uh, it's snowing. Jamie and I had a craving for, <laughs> for sauerkraut again. Apparently we didn't have enough of it the other day. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess St. Patrick's Day is... Yeah. In two days, so. Yeah, I really want some kibasis too. Oh, why didn't you say that? I wasn't thinking. Oh, we could do that. You know, we could do that for game night. Oh, we could Throw kibasa and sauerkraut in the yeah. crock pot and then whoever comes over. Yep. That's a good plan. Mm. Deal. Done. We're doing it. We got it figured out. He's not dropping any for you, sorry. So this, seriously, whenever we eat, this is where Shelby likes to be. If Greg's not here. If Greg's here, she wants to be in his lap. If she's not under our feet. Right. She is, that's where she's at, right there. Like, no, I mean right under our feet. When oh, we're right. We always have to be careful pulling the chair in and out because she'll, she's like, no. And Oakley's all right. How yep. are you, Oakley? You all right? <laughs> we got your toe to stop bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't take long. only took a second. We, get, we fixed it. Yeah, I didn't even feel it. No, I don't think she did. Just a little nick. Just a little nick. I'm not feeding her. I was just petting her. Look at this. Is that where you're going to sleep tonight? Hi. How are you? Is that, are you going to... This thing is gigantic. Is this where you're going to sleep tonight? Yeah. Do you like that beanbag chair? <laughs> you know we have a bigger one in a box one of these days. We just might have to open it see what you think about it. What do you think? You are just way too cute. 
And she way too cute. She's just way too cute. I guess we can uh, say goodnight from in here since even Miss Oakley decided to come in here. Hi, hon. We're pretty much calling it a night. Yeah. Jamie had uh, some computer issues. We lost a hard drive and we pretty much spent the rest of the evening fixing his computer. But he's back to operating now. And uh, we're going to bed. I think Shelby might sleep right here. What about you? You think you're going to sleep right there? No, we'll go, we'll go to bed. We'll go sleep in bed. We sure will. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys, if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends. Help us grow the audience, as always. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. Where do you want to go to sleep, Miss Oakley? You want me to make Shelby move and you can sleep in here on this bed? She's like, no, I'll go sleep in my bed. Thanks. <laughs> uh, good night, audience.